Today is Wednesday, January 27th. Today I want to talk about on balance volume, one of my favorite studies, also known as cumulative volume. Uh, the indicator, what it does is it takes a running total of volume that changes hands on up days and subtracts volume on down days and keeps a running total. Theoretically, it shows that money is flowing into or out of a stock depending on the slope of the chart. And I also use it as, as a proxy for supply and demand. So I can't, they're, for me, they're interchangeable. So what you want to see is a stock that has money flowing in, a chart moving to the upside in the on balance volume. Here we have the gold ETF. And everyone knows that's been heading straight down with a couple of uh, false, exciting rallies going on in there. But take a look at the on balance volume over the last two years. You know, just heading straight down. And just to drive that point home, let's stick a little trend line on it. And you can see that while it was a rally over here at the end of 2014, you know, we didn't know it at the time, of course, but this trend line wasn't broken. But it certainly didn't set a higher high than the previous peak. So moving on to, to current levels, and you can see there was a little excitement earlier this year as stocks were getting killed and gold and gold stocks were moving a little bit higher and even though they're higher now than they were at the end of last year take a look at on balance volume so it's still in an overall declining trend and the rally down here wasn't all that strong uh, most of the time on balance volume and price are going to move in the same direction and we can see that pretty clearly here all right it's when they move in different directions that we have some kind of signal so let's look at the next example this is the long bond long treasury bond ETF and you know in this area here it's moving sideways and just to put it in the place that we would have looked at it you can see what's going on with on balance volume you know look at look at the chart below and you know oops that is my fault I am sorry let's put a ray there we go you know you can look at it that the overall trend is higher and the trend from here is up. So it was a pretty good bet that this thing was going to break to the upside. Money was pouring into this market in advance in preparation for the, uh, the breakout, which of course happened. And you can see on balance volume is at a higher high now than it was at the peak, price peak in early 2015. That would be a bullish divergence. Let's look at a, a stock that hasn't done anything just yet Mylan Labs now look at this it has rallied on balance volume moved up that's a positive but it's still rising even though price has stumbled and what we have here again is a rising trend in the indicator and it's actually at higher highs now than it was at the price peak last year so that is a bullish signal money's flowing into this stock and of course you wait for the price breakout somewhere above the December high. But this is one to watch for, the, for a bullish resolution. Finally, I want to get to one that didn't work so well, or maybe just hasn't worked yet. This is Verizon. And people like Verizon now because of the big fat dividend, um, which of course is probably all you can get in the market these days. And if we draw just a line, a little resistance line here, oops. So you can see it has a price breakout. But look what's going on with on balance volume. Now, as an aside, when I see something that moves from a low and then goes to and through resistance without pausing, I think it's a little emotional, a little suspect. And on balance volume here is still hitting new lows. The trend here is down. So I'm a little skeptical over Verizon. That's certainly not a, a market call, but it's uh, just another way that I would use on balance volume as part of the overall investment process.